Hey there YouTube, it's Marvin here again. Welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, one of my colleagues at work asked me if I know a free software to edit a photo to remove any unwanted object in the picture. I told him that the basic editing can be done with Windows 10 or 11, which he did not know about it. So I asked a few more people at work and uh, some of them were using third-party software and some told me to use a free or trial software. That tells me that uh, lots of people out there still don't know that these uh, features exist in Windows 10 and 11. So I thought that making this video would be useful to someone just like my colleagues. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. And uh, by the way, I'm using Windows 11. But again, as I mentioned, Windows 10 has it as well. Uh, let me open one of the picture in my folder. So I did the right click just to show you that I'm opening it with a photo viewer of Windows 11. Otherwise you can just double click it to automatically open it. And that is me with my paddleboard. Then click the edit icon on the top or you can do the shortcut keys by pressing Ctrl E on the keyboard that will open the edit window as well. As you can see, the user interface is intuitive with very basic options. We have crop, adjustment, filter, markup, erase, and background. Now, what we have to do is to click erase. Then you will have another settings option on the top right corner, which you can choose manual or auto apply. And you can also adjust the size of the eraser brush to the size of the object you wanted to remove. So now let's try to remove the brand of my paddleboard by pointing the cursor right here. Then click and hold the left button of the mouse and drag all the way. Then let go of the button and voila, the name is gone. Let's do another one and it's gone as well so that is because the auto apply is on now if you made a mistake you do not have to worry no big deal you can just click here to undo the recent changes that you have made or you can click reset to undo all the changes that you made from the beginning now let's turn the auto apply into off and this will give you more option below. So now even letting go of the left click button of the mouse, the object won't disappear until you click the erase option. Myself, I like the auto apply. It is a lot faster. And again, if ever you make a mistake, you can always click the undo button and you can start from the beginning again. Okay, so let's try removing another object. This time let's remove the Puma on my shirt. Let me adjust the size of the brush and there you go it's gone let's try to remove this guy here as well now it's gone right so then when you are done you can choose the option of whether you want to save a copy this will create a duplicate copy with all the changes that you have made and also will retain the original photo on touch or if you choose to click save it will overwrite the original which I would not recommend so all the changes that I made here is just for the sake of tutorial. So I'm just going to click cancel and it will close this window without saving all the changes that I made. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It will really help my channel to grow. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.